is just go over a little bit more with sets. Um, this time I'm going to teach you a little more about intersection and union. So last time I showed two sets and I, I represented it kind of as, uh, as you know, two circles. This time I'm going to do that, but I'm going to use a Venn diagram. So let's say, let's call this set A. And let's call this set B. So the intersection of two sets, which is fairly common um, to use, is first the definition of intersection of two sets is what the two sets have in common. Or I should say the elements So on this example, right now we don't have any elements. Remember, elements are what make up a, a set, because a set is a collection of objects or elements. So let's say, let's just use numbers for this example. So if you can see between set A and set B, set A is all of this circle and set B is all of this circle. So if I was going to look at the intersection, of these two circles, we would say that what do these two have in common? We can say that th three and four is what they have in common. So the notation that we use is, I'm just gonna call this, instead of saying set, I'm just gonna write A and B. So we write A intersect, that means intersect, B, and what that equals is three and four, the elements three and four. And we like to use brackets as another way that we like to represent sets. Another thing is we have union. And union is what, um, what is in both is what is in uh, either one set or in the other uh, set. So it's the, all the elements in one set or the elements in the other set. So we say all the all the elements that are in set A is 1, 5, 8, 3, and 4. And all the elements that are in set B is 10, 18, 3, and 4. Now, since 3 and 4 are both in A and they're in B, we don't need to write them twice. So the union is the elements that are in one set or the other. So it's going to be actually what's in both of those sets. So the way that I'll represent that is A, union, B. And in this Venn diagram, this is actually going to be all of the elements because um, they're all in, in this A or they're also in B. So again, I'll use brackets. So that will be 1, 5, 8, 3, 4, 10, 18. And the last thing I'd like to uh, um, go over is like uh, like I said one time we talked about our last class or my other set theory is I worked in you know having an empty set so oh, sorry I'll just make a different Venn diagram if you have another Venn diagram and let's just call this uh, Q and R and one two three four five well another thing if you guys remember when we were talking about the empty set if I was gonna say a and I'm oh, sorry not a Q intersect R well there's no elements that those two have in common so we could say that would be the empty set or a lot of times we use this notation uh, with the null set and however the union of this set I'm not going to write it down but the union of the set would be one two three four and five so that is uh, your second portion of a second overview of sets intersection and union.